Hello, everybody. Welcome to the ISS. I, uh, this is going to be the start of some video journals I intend to take during my time up here to uh, just show you a little bit of what day to day life is like uh, aboard the space station. And uh, I want to start uh, by showing you that I grew, most importantly. That's the whole reason I actually took this job, is because when you go to space, your spine elongates because you're not being pushed down by gravity, and you grow. Sweet, so check it out. I grew about an inch. So at this rate, I figure I'll be playing center for the New York Knicks in, uh, you know, about another two or three years. And, um, uh, you know, I'm sure they can use me. So anyway, let me zoom in. You can see the result. Check that out. And that's in centimeters. That means I grew like a whole inch. Sweet. This is the best. Space flight just rules. Okay. Let me zoom back out. And what I'd like to do next is show you show you guys my sleep station. All right. So let's head to the Russian segment. I'll show you that Kayuta. So here we go. One of the coolest things is just floating around this place. Doing some flips. Yay! And here we go into that Russian segment. Okay, we're now at the beginning of the FGB. Right down there is our lifeboat, and also Peggy and Yuri's ride home in another week, the Soyuz. We look really closely, way down there, there's two sections of the Soyuz that you can live in. This is the bay, oh, and way down there, is the commander seat in the descent module. That's the only part that actually comes home. So that's the Soyuz. I'll show you more of that some other time. We've got another one coming up next week. We'll have two of them. So now we're going into uh, the oldest module on the space station. It's the FGB. It's part of the Russian segment, but actually financed and purchased by America. Here's where we keep all of our food, the red containers are Russian food containers, blue ones are American, and those silver buckets are uh, various types of water containers for over here on the Russian side. Um, this, by the way, over here, let me back up a little bit, sorry about the twisting around, but I forgot to show you this. Right over there is our hygiene station. This is where we take showers, kind of. Actually, it's just a glorified uh, sponge bath, basically. Um, but you don't get too smelly up here, so it actually works out just fine. Okay, let's head back up. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, now it's very easy to get turned around. Sometimes I come up here and I don't know if the surface, which way is forward or which way is aft. So let me help you out here. Let's look over here. Okay, that's where we came from. That's the FGB. Now, coming this way. This is where we're going, the service module. This is a core living compartment on the Russian segment. And it's got all of our life support functions, all of the equipment that keeps the Russian segment very long, and back our thrusters. And uh, it's got all the windows. That's why you see so many cameras here on the wall. This is the best place to take pictures. Sorry, I just had to turn around and see what I knocked off the, uh, off the 
the shelf back there. This place is really hazardous. The easiest place to knock into things and basically make a mess. So before I show you my food, the Right over here is a laptop. I'm going to spin around and show you a little more of the service module. Sergey finally changed his playlist today. He basically plays the same music, about the same like dozen songs over and over uh, for about a week. And then he finally changed it to something else. Last week was all 80s tunes. This week it's the Stones. So it doesn't bother me at all. I think it's kind of funny. So going back. little dining table. I'll be showing you eating a uh, meal time sometime in the future and uh, all the weird things that go along with it. But there are two sleep stations here in the app. This one over here on the right is Yuri's. It's nice and neat. This one over here on the left is mine. And you can see the door right there and on the door On the door is my hygiene kit from Russia. It's actually really handy. I got my chopsticks, my deodorant, my toothbrush. Let's take a look inside, shall we? Now, I didn't clean up or anything, as will be immediately obvious. I want to show you what it's really like, kind of that lived-in look. So you're seeing immediately the best part of the whole experience of living over here in the Russian segment, which is the fact that you have a window. And this gives you this gives you a side view looking out in the earth. Let me zoom in here. Take a look at the earth. And it's really a different perspective. Hello, Earth. And you can really get a feel for how thin our atmosphere is if I could focus. Okay, there we go. So you can see down there, there's the, the clouds extend up to, you know, as high as 60,000 feet or so. And then you got a little bit more atmosphere on top of that, and then it's just space. But that's it. I mean, if you look how big the planet is, if it could focus. There we go. Look how big the planet is, and just that thin little layer is all you get as far as breathing gas. It's pretty scary. Just a little sliver. There's one of the solar rays. It's amazing that uh, their rays are so big, they reach all the way back here. I don't know if I could show you how far forward. There's one of the solar rays on the service module, and that's all they'll show you. But when that array is rotated up and you poke your head all the way over to the side, you can actually see the, uh, you can actually see the truss from here, too. So it's neat, very neat indeed. And, one of the other cool features is it's got this handy little shutter, which is totally funky. Looks like something out of Jules Verne, which coincidentally is right in the next module. Let's get this open. Okay, here we go. There it goes. So there's your window shutter. That's when it's time to go to sleep, I close it. The rest of the time, I keep it open. I'll close that thing.